Daryl. Um, okay, cool. Let me see if I can help you out. Um, just, just very quickly, I just want to show you a cool little technique that actually, you know, basically what the blend shape button does. Um, just going to quickly show you here. Uh, let's say, for instance, this is your this is your face. I'm currently taking the smile blend shape, and I'm just gonna just gonna duplicate that out. And basically, what you're doing is that you're taking this duplicate over here. Um, I just want to unlock that. I just get a key and everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this little blend shape over here. Just gonna move it out here for now. All right. So let's say, for instance, this is the one that I'm going to take now into ZBrush. Goes into ZBrush, comes back. Da -da -da -da. All right. Now the problem is, of course, that it needs to stay the same amount of polygons. Um, but we but we might be able to get away with this as well. Let me actually just let me just actually work on something. Let me just let me just see. So let's say, for instance, what you want, if you do want to increase your polygons, um, I'm going to go and take this one here, and I'm just going to go mesh, and we're going to go and smooth it. All right, cool. So now we've increased our polygons. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work. So hold on, Daryl. All right. So and I'm going to duplicate it out. All right. And hello. So now this is the one we're going to keep here. Now the big th the point is is that this face stays the same shape as this one, whereas this one over here we're going to go and change. So this goes into ZBrush and gets changed. Uh, I'm just going to not really going to do anything to it. I'm just going to go and put a little. I really thought I put symmetry in, didn't I? Put it on an object. That should work. There we go. And let's just do a quick little fake smile. Yeah, wow, amazing. All right, leaving it at that. All right, meep, meep, meep. and so, so basically, this went over to ZBrush. You did all of the uh, topology changes that you want to do, and then you brought it back over here. Okay, so basically, what we're going to do now is is the following. So, this one over here is going to get blend shape. So I'm going to go to rigging, deform, ball and shape. Cool. I'm just going to get blend shape all the way back as if we didn't do anything to it. Then it's going to go in exactly the same position as our target where we want the blend shape to go to. And now I'm going to go select the target, which is that one. And then I'm going to select the source, which is this one. And I'm just going to go to um, deform, wrap. And now I'm just going to go and this is my wrap settings. I find that this just works the best. Exclusive line, exclusive, excuse me, exclusive bind on and everything else off. And then create, well, in cases like this, it works creating it there we go and then what I do is I can take this blend shape over here and then I just drop the connection it had there we go I hope that made sense and I hope that is kind of what you are trying to achieve here I have this original smile face right now with the smile on and that is connected over here. No, 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 no. Smile. Smile. Amazing. All right, cool. I hope that is um, kind of what you were looking for. And um, yeah, t it's a couple of steps. It's going to take a little while to, you know, get it right. My suggestion is just to do it with a couple of the, uh, with a couple of heads, or just one at a time. Uh, just work out a technique that works out for you. And um, that's it. All right. Cool, cheers mate.